Okay, here we are at our construction diagram again. And notice that we have our bind off and then this little diagonal line. There's that diagonal line there. There's one on either side of the crew neck. And that particular shaping is done usually with every other row decreases. Now there are a number of ways to make decreases, but I will show you two of them today. I generally prefer this kind of decrease. This decrease is called a reverse transfer full fashion decrease. And this is what I want you to see on either side. See those stitches? They lie in the direction of the diagonal. Now for a long time I've used this decrease on my sweaters and I have had um, a lot of students take this class. It was actually in a hand finishing class when a student of mine said, that looks like cheap Nordic ski wear to me. So ever since then I have dubbed this the cheap Nordic, Nordic ski wear effect decrease. We will be doing that one on the right side of the frame. I have liked this for so long that I don't even have an example of the other one to show you right now, but you will be able to see it from your knitting. The stitches will lie in a different direction. So we come back to our knitting and we are going to decrease every other row four times. We have already done our bind offs. We've already done our first row. And I usually like to use a two by one transfer tool when I do this, but because I know all of you have a three by one transfer tool, I am going to use this one. Also, this, both of these decreases are full fashioned or fully fashioned. That means that you do not do them right at the edge of your knitting. You do them instead, in this case it will be three stitches in because of the tool we're using. You may move them two stitches in, you may move them in even one stitch from the edge. But my general recommendation, 99% of the time, is that you never do an increase or a decrease at the edge of your knitting because when it comes time to sew up, you have all these glitches and bumps and other things that are getting in the way of your seam and you want to make a good looking seam. So we will start with the reverse transfer on this side. In this case, you go into the fourth needle from the end. And I call this tool the hook and eye tool to my beginning students. That's because this eye of this sewing needle goes over the hook of these other needles. You insert that over the hook, put your finger underneath, pull it straight out. Notice I'm using it parallel to the floor. And now I'm going to put some pressure on my thumb, push straight in, lift. When you lift, be careful not to lift in that direction. You don't want to dump that stitch off of there. You want to keep it on. And move it toward the outside. You know that lace sweater you saw at the beginning? This particular maneuver was really the basis of that sweater. These are easier if the latches are open. Okay, now you take the three prongs, pull it all the way out, push in with downward pressure, don't be afraid of it, lift, and move it in to fill in the extra empty needle. Now notice, oops, again I want to open up my latches here, it makes it easier. It actually is real easy if you're in the front of the frame. There we go. Sometimes my beginning students will move that all the way over and make three stitches on one. You don't want that. You just want two stitches on that needle, one and one. Now on this side, we're just going to lift up the end three stitches and move them over. And that's the non-reverse transfer. So I'm going to put my transfer tool on here. Hook an eye tool. Do not stick those down into the needles, don't try, or the stitches, excuse me, don't try to pull them out. Pull out, push in, downward pressure. In fact, I have a bent tool. Move it over and this now becomes a double up. And notice how when I just rotate that tool, it does all the work for me. Oops. Okay, now we knit two rows. We've done the manipulation and because this is every other row, we knit one two rows. Now, I would like you to stop the tape and hand manipulate at either side a decrease. The reverse transfer on this side or cheap Nordic ski wear. On this side, a simple transfer with your three prong transfer tool. I want you to complete the step of manipulation plus knit two rows four times. Then knit four extra rows and turn the tape back on.